So Ryan's sitting here looking at his giant spike he just found where he's glassing something. I think it is. Oh, oh wait, no. Oh, no. Oh. oh. Cedar branch, dude, isn't it? I am so pumped up. My little spiker. My 99% sure. Are you talking about that massive thing right there? Oh, it's a stick. Well, let's go back. bed right there. Yeah, dude, I mean, plenty of times I've seen it happen. Oh, I know it. Wow. All right, dude. Give her the old first oh. human hand. Oh, she's stuck in the mud. Wow, that's a... Woo! What that's think, one way to break the ice, What maybe. do you think she scores? Uh, oh. Low 70s. Whoa, I was thinking this. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Well, hopefully we can get on some fresh ones. Uh, no better. We're in the thicket of it now, so we're in the good bedding and... Nice little creek there, so uh, there never really know. A little Perfect. A little shed holder. Alrighty. Well, we'll keep her moving. Ryan, what'd you do? Found a little bit bigger one. Hey. Mm. Heck yeah. Not the greatest color in the world, but. Oh, that's. Hey, no choose is better. No. Than... You could easily get that recolored to look just fine. Uh, Nice. Yeah. Second one of the day. That'll do. Another old one though. Yeah. We gotta find some fresh ones. I know. Gotta get on them. Popped up over the ridge, stood on that berm a little bit. Spotted. Just sunny enough to Spotted really kind of make it hard, but yeah, that's a good, good one. Yeah. He'd be really nice this year. Oh yeah. He's a dandy. Huh. Well, we're gonna keep on trekking. At least we're finding something. Get over to those cedars over there, and that's a lot closer to good food, so I'm sure yeah. decent chance in there. But maybe we'll even find his other side in his grass still. That'd be cool. Cool, cool, cool. Spreading out, making a line. Onward. Hopefully we can find something fresh. Well, Corey and I have been walking a lot. Finally got one. We've been following all kinds of deer sign on this farm and yeah, it was a matter of time, I guess, but hopefully now we can just Hopefully the ice is broken and we just fall through, you know? Oh, man. Yeah, I would have walked right over that. <laughs> <laughs> I think my boot, like, clipped it. Yeah, from this year, but uh, nothing special, really. But sweet, hopefully we can just uh, find all his buddies. Yeah, it's been pretty slow going. We'll go find the other side by them trees, I suppose. Yeah. Either be very pleased or let down hard. I think I just found an antler. Looks to be an old one. But nonetheless, I found one finally. Probably about five miles in. Wow. Missed that one. In probably a couple of years. <laughs> that is an old one very old just enough grass probably the year it was dropped shoot I have been walking like a maniac definitely a slower day Definitely a slower day. Look at how much is sticking out. 
Yikes. That can't be good. I wonder if it was on a dead head that it broke off or something. Well, walking this hay field, I seen a bunch of deer late season out here, so I was like, gotta ah, be a good chance. I think I just found a match set. Yes, sir. That makes 17 and 18 on the year. The one I found yesterday I did not keep. Yeah. Match set. Hopefully we can find some more in this hayfield. Let's go. I have walked a lot between the last fresh one and these fresh ones. A lot of walking. I think probably like almost eight miles, probably more than that. Sweet. Get these picked up. Oh. Nice little buck. Only a two year old. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, I mean, I probably, I mean, if I would have been five more yards away from him, I don't know if I would have seen him. He's pretty tall out here. I'm sure that's why the deer you know, liked it. So nice. Keep those out of the tire for the farmer. And we're good to go. February 16th. Back in the woods. Trying to find some of my my bucks I have pictures of. I don't really have anything with antlers past like the 10th of February. So. Getting into some of the bedding areas here. The only time of year that I'm in, I'm walking through this nasty, thick, thick, thick mouth four rows. Looked down the hill and found a deadhead. Pretty decent one. That's really unfortunate. This is on one of the properties that I do most of my hunting on. I don't recognize this deer at all. That is a shame. Looks like he might have been four, maybe, maybe four. Huh. Not what I was hoping to find. Hopefully I can uh, find some sheds, not deads. Well, out here walking this, it's kind of a creek bed floodplain. I got permission on this property yesterday. Never been on it before. And right here in the middle of the wide open pasture, I mean, this couldn't be any more wide open. And there's a shed laying here, old one, obviously. It's chewed to heck. But man, he would have been a nice one. A really nice one. So that tells me that probably hasn't really been shed hunted much in the past. It's a good thing, I suppose. It's That's really unfortunate. Yeah, he would have been a dandy. Bomber. Oh yeah, it would have been a really good one. Heck of a good main beam on that thing. What a shame. Well, hopefully we can find some fresh ones on here. I know there ain't much for food down here, but fresh water. Pretty much uh, in a pretty low pressured area, I think. So hopefully we can find something, something brown. I found the trail that I started in on and I found that first one that was chewed up and old. I was standing right here, walked right along this fence and I didn't even notice that. Another old one. How about it? That one's been there for a hot minute. Dang. I just walked a lot for little. Nothing to keep. Anytime you get kind of a ridge top like this with this kind of cover, it's a good spot for them to get out of the super cold. Especially if you're on a westerly or a south kind of slope. 
but then again, it's February 16th, so you gotta think on the warmer days that we've had this winter, which it was relatively warm in the 50s on some of these days. For those deer wearing their winter coats, that can always get too warm, so you never wanna overlook the north facing slopes either, because they might switch it up and lay on those. So I got on this new permission piece that I got today. I have been walking my butt off. Oh man, finally, I about tripped on this one. Finally found another brown for the year. Oh, thank goodness. He's been out here for a while. I mean, they came out here and they got round bales, corn stock round bales off this field. And I bet that tire track is right where my foot, right where my foot is. They just missed that. Yes, let's go. Finally, 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 finally. Hopefully I can get at least one or two more in here. That'd just be awesome. This one picked up. Oh yeah. It's been there for a hot minute. January drop probably. Little bit of wax ring, not much left. Excellent. Let's find some more. Let's find some more. I have to spend more time in this cornfield than I thought. I just found the second one. Not sure if it's the same side or. Oh man, that feels great. Looks like it might be the other side. Wow, I missed that one. I walked right there. Mm. Yeah, it might be a match. Same color. Nice. Oh, thank goodness. I've been walking hard. That just feels great. Yeah, be, uh, it's uh, pretty easy to miss them out here, that's for sure. That is for sure. All right, sweet. Let's get this thing kicked around and see what we're dealing with. Yeah. Looks pretty similar, but I don't know. I don't really know, it's hard to say. Pedicles are a little bit different, how much is left. This one almost looks a little fresher. Oh, that feels great. You know, they say miles for piles, but more miles than piles, feels like. Anyway, I'm excited. I'm at least back on the board with some brownies. It's been a long time coming. Nice.